since we have been talking about Continuous Data Foundation and Cloud Native Computing Foundation and uh, CDF projects, Open GitOps, and so on, when we were talking about the program for the event, we decided, okay, we need to talk about what we are doing within CD Foundation, what we are doing within Open GitOps project. So we came up with these State of the Union sessions to give you latest news from these different uh, foundations, projects, and the initiatives our communities have been putting a lot of time and effort in. And I am really excited today because we have lots of things to announce, and if you are following it, us on Twitter, I am sure some of you might have seen already some of those news. But before we start with the news, I want to highlight that this is our fourth CDCon. As I noted, CDF is four years old, and first two events we had in 2020 and 2021, they were virtual. And we had our first in-person event last year in Austin, Texas. And it was really great because we have been working within the community between 2019 to 2022. We never met with each other. And last year was the very first time our community came together and actually we start seeing, okay, people have legs and so on because, you know, Zoom makes you think like people or makes us with head and whatever. And today we are having our fourth event, second in-person event, and this is a great, you know, opportunity for us to continue what we start doing, evolving the continuous data ecosystem. And some of the things we will be talking about will hopefully tell you our story, where we start and where we are going on, and hopefully you will start contributing to our efforts. What's the best way to start talking about the CD Foundation is the Continuous Data Foundation landscape, and our landscape uh, contains all the projects we have within the CD Foundation and other projects you may want to look at when it comes to continuous data, uh, continuous integration, build automation, test automation, and release automation. And it also shows how we as the community are evolving because this landscape was different last year and it is different today and it will probably be different tomorrow as well because many people are contributing new projects, many people are contributing new categories and it also shows us who joined the CD Foundation to support our mission. So it is a good high level overview of what we are doing with the CD Foundation and what kind of efforts we are putting in place. First, I want to start welcoming with our new members because uh, without our members' support, we can't support our communities, we can't support our projects, so it is important we have this support and we work with our members closely together. So please join me welcoming Nginx, Prodvana, Salesforce, and TestCube as new members to CD Foundation. I want to thank all of them for joining the CD Foundation to support our mission to transform continuous their ecosystem. Next, I want to talk about our projects. As I mentioned, we have nine projects. And originally, when CDF started, we had four projects, and they were mainly around continuous integration and continuous theory orchestration. But over time, our project, number of our projects started increasing, and we started getting different types of projects within the CD Foundation, with the reason that continuous theory doesn't only you know, have Orchestrators, when you think about continuous theory, it has lots of different tools and technologies, and orchestration is just one aspect of it. You have built builds, you have tests, you have deployments, and in order for us to cover continuous theory domain more broadly, we have been working on bringing some new projects within the continuous theory foundation. And the CD events, Persia, Shipwright, and Ortelius, they are uh, different compared to other projects, and they are helping us broaden our reach within the continuous data ecosystem by bringing different topics into, in front of our community's attention. And we do that by being a neutral party that gives everyone level playing field so they can come and work with their challenges, collaborate with others, and push the domain forward. One of the latest projects that joined the CD Foundation is Persia. And some of you, I know you were in CD Summit in Detroit in October 2022, and we welcomed Persia to CD Foundation. And Persia brought in artifact aspects, software supply chain aspects into CD Foundation, and they joined as an incubation level project. And it's a decentralized package network to secure the software supply chain of open source dependencies by creating a system that secures open source builds and distribution. So that actually highlights the CDF community's efforts in securing software supply chain. And 
our wish to contribute to overall efforts to improving state of software supply chain. So we would like to welcome Persia to CD Foundation again, and we are looking forward to the contributions they will be making to software supply chain as well as continues their ecosystem. The next project up is Tecton. Again, we announced this during 2020 to October in KubeCon North America. And as you know, Tecton is one of the founding projects of Continuous Delivery Foundation. And it is a powerful framework to create continuous integration, continuous delivery systems, allowing developers to build, test, and deploy across cloud providers and on prep systems. And Tecton has reached graduated status in October 2022 and joined Jenkins as the second graduated project. So out of nine projects we have within the CD Foundation, two of our projects are graduated. And what does it mean to graduate? The graduated stage projects under the CD Foundation is when they have reached uh, their growth goals and on a sustaining cycle of development, maintenance, and long-term support. Graduated projects are used in production by the enterprises, and they have a large community supporting them. So being a graduated project is really important, and I want to congratulate Tecton for achieving graduated status within Continuous Delivery Foundation. And later today, you will have a panel around graduated projects, and you will hear their maintainers directly how they reach this stage and what it means to graduate from foundations. Next up is CD Events, and CD Events is the second youngest project within Continuous Delivery Foundation, and it is a common specification for continuous delivery events to achieve interoperability. And as I was saying, when you think about a typical continuous integration, continuous delivery pipeline, you have many tools and technologies you are using within those pipelines. And within the continuous delivery ecosystem, there is no interoperability, unfortunately. And this is a topic our community has been put, putting put a lot of effort. And CD events is a result of over three years of work and collaboration within CD Foundation. And we launched CD events last year in KubeCon Europe. And within a year, the CD events project shown a lot of uh, interest and attention from many different projects, communities, and organizations because it gives organizations to interpret their tools with each other. It comes up with a common language for different tools and technologies, so you don't have to create your own wrappers, you don't have to create your own scripts to make few of those tools integrate with each other. And our vision is to make sure the interoperability comes out of the box from all these projects you might be using. And today we are announcing first four projects who are actually either on their way to adopt the CDMS specification or already adopted. Jenkins, one of the most widely used continuous integration automation servers, and they actually have a plugin right now. If you go to plugins.jenkins.io, you should see CDMS plugin there, and you should be able to install that plugin and start with CDMS right away. I want to thank Fidelity and others who contribute this plugin, and I want to thank Jenkins Commit for their support while we get this plugin up there for use. The other community, Spinnaker, a request for comment was proposed by uh, CD events community and contributors from Ericsson, and that RFC has recently been accepted and implementation is happening. Tecton also has an experimental controller for CD events, so you can go and try it out to see how Tecton can interoperate with other technologies. And finally, TestCube project, the contributors from TestCube project recently introduced test events to CD events, making sure that test frameworks can also use the same language to interact with other technologies within a typical continuous delivery pipeline. So I urge you to look at the announcement we made today, and you have the QR code there, and you can read the details about what all these projects are doing and how you can benefit from the developments we have within CD events project. As I was uh, thinking when I, before I came here, I want to repeat what I said last year. The collective capabilities of the projects we have within the foundation is greater than any single project. And I'm re really happy that, to see that three CDF projects and one non-CDF project, TestCube, are working together with CDMS project and adopting this specification to make sure their users benefit from latest developments within the ecosystem and reduce their you know, time and effort to bring up continuous delivery pipelines. So congratulations to all our projects for pushing the domain forward and starting to evolve the continuous delivery ecosystem. 
So the next project, Tecton, and Tecton has been putting a lot of time and effort into improving the state of software supply chain. And if you look at different communities and different foundations, you will probably see Tecton is used one way or the other. An example of use is Open Source Security Foundation, their uh, initiative called Freshka, Factory for Repeatable Software Artifacts. They are using Tecton in the, uh, as a foundation to demonstrate how organizations could achieve the security within their software supply chain. And this was last year. Now, today, what we are announcing is Tecton community has been working even more to bring up new features to their users. And four of the new features we are announcing today are Salsa Level 2 support. As you know, Salsa is a pretty uh, exciting project within OpenSSF that helps organizations to you know, make their software supply chains more secure by providing four different levels. And Tecton community enabled the possibility of achieving Salsa level two out of the box. So if you start using Tecton, you'll get Salsa level two directly with the help of Tecton Chains project. The other feature they made available is six store, six store support le left experimental. Previously, it was an experimental feature, but now it's not experimental. You can use it for production. The third new feature is trusted resources. So any resources your Tecton instance might be using, they can be you know, configured as trusted resources. And finally, the tasks used by Tecton are now available on Artifact Hub as uh, publicly released tasks. So you can go and fetch tasks from Artifact Hub and use for your Tecton pipelines. Tecton is having a project summit tomorrow uh, between 12.40 to uh, 10 past 2, room 2.15 and 2.16. So please join Tecton community for their project summit to learn more about their latest features. And CD Vance is also having a project summit. It is happening today, same time, 12 for two, 10 past two, room 215, 216. So you have a chance to meet with community maintainers here and you know, start collaborating with our projects. The third project we have an announcement to make today is Ortelius. Ortelius is a unified evidence store of supply chain, supply chain data designed to simplify a decoupled microservice environment. And we are proud to welcome Emporos to the CD Foundation today as a sub-project to Ortelius. Emporos is an open source toolkit that enables software artifact management based on the universal data aggregation, and it was originally developed by Red Hat developers. So we want to thank Red Hat for their contribution of Emporos to Ortelius as a project, and we are looking forward to seeing what kind of you know, impacts Ortelius and Emporos will make within the ecosystem. And if you want to learn more about Ortelius, if you want to learn more about Emporos and what's coming up with the projects, you can join Ortelius Project Summit, which will happen 12, 4 to 2, 10 past 2 tomorrow, room 217 and 219. All these project summits are listed on our official schedule as well. As you can all see, our community is showing a lot of progress and making new features and projects available to our users, and we are proud of their achievements. And within less than a year, we had our CDCon last year in June. Within less than a year, we have lots of progress with our projects, and more things are coming up. So if you want to take part in evolving the contents of the ecosystem, you should be looking at all these initiatives and trying to find out how you can use what is developed by our communities in the best possible way. And this week is a perfect opportunity to learn more about those things. These were our project updates, but we have a large community behind all our projects, behind Continuous Data Foundation. And I just want to talk about some of our other initiatives, starting with Amosaurus program. And the Amosaurus program is a program within Continuous Data Foundation to enable Continuous Data leadership and build the Continuous Data Foundation through engagement, outreach, and adoption of open source Continuous Data software practices and tools. We just welcomed the 2023 cohort for our ambassadors, and we had our kickoff meeting, I think it was last week, Friday or something, and it was really awesome group of contributors. They are all excited about what we are doing within Continuous Data Ecosystem, and they are eager to contribute all our efforts within projects, within special interest groups, within other foundations. So we would like to welcome our ambassadors again, and I want to thank Garima Bajpai, who is actually the person behind crafting this program and making it 
what it is today. So thanks, Art Garima, for all your efforts. The other uh, program we have within uh, committee we have within Contents Data Foundation is Outreach. Our Outreach program is critical for us to tell our story. And we have been working on starting new series and making new publications over the last couple of months. And we started a case study program called User Stories. And the first two user stories was published recently. The Fidelity case study was published in February. And last week, we published a case study from Ericsson. So I want to thank both Fidelity and Ericsson for contributing their user stories. And I believe we have three more in the works right now. In addition to that, we are working with white papers. And our first white paper we, pu white paper we published was CD events, And we refreshed it today. And then finally, we are starting a workshops program, which was actually an idea that came up during our outreach committee meeting. And I want to thank Dadisi, Thomas, and Veronica for coming up with the idea and driving the topic forward to make these workshops reality. And the last but not least, the program, the CD pipeline, continuously delivering software from A to Z. We are developing these videos in collaboration with TechStrong TV, and we release six episodes talk about different challenges within the continuous data ecosystem. Check them out and you know, take part in those uh, conversations. And I want to thank Lori Lorso, who is the chair of our outreach program committee. And he, she always comes up with great ideas, and she makes them happen. So it's really great to work with her. I am learning a lot of things from her every day. Another thing, today we released the latest version of State of City report, and there are lots of interesting findings within this report. And you should be able to find the printout of this report on our CDF booth together with our case studies. Just read the record, report and see how it applies to your organizations and find out how we as Continuous Data Foundation are impacting the ecosystem. Since we are at an event, we need to talk about our next event. Uh, we are hosting a mini summit as part of Open Source Summit Europe in September. And the CFP is currently open. Please submit your talks and become a speaker our, in our next event. And our Slack is there. You can join us today. And I want to thank you and have a great conference. And looking forward to a really great week. Thanks a lot.